So, if you have Shutter, you know they had some real cool things on there. I just want to do this part to point out, shoot the shit, and talk about some of the cool things they have on there. I just finished the entire series of Curse Films. I don't know if you checked it out. It's basically the series that talks about movies with cursed stories. And to give you an example, The Crow, they talked about The Crow, and they, the latest one was The Wizard of Oz. It was pretty emotional. The Twilight Zone one was emotional. The Crow one was an emotional with Brandon Lee. It's a pretty good series. And they go back and they talk about curse things and how people sometimes extragravise the truth to make it seem more scarier like they did with the actresses. So the latest curse films talks about Wizard of Oz. And I thought this was crazy. Like, this is the most crazy behind-the-scenes movie between the munchkin that hides himself, which was tried, they tried to cover that up with a bird, and you have to pay for this ultra-rare VHS copy that NGM tried to burn. Some people have it, and they posted it. It happened. Like, it's real. Like, there's people who try to... No, 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 it was a cardboard cutout. No, that's um, another movie. There's a real munchkin that hangs himself. And the story behind it is that the munchkins were all holed up in this hotel where they were just drinking and partying and fraternizing throughout the entire film. And there was just this one munchkin... You know, who, you know, probably wasn't getting laid. He was probably, you know, fed up with the money he was getting paid. And he hung himself. That backstory is just contextual. It's, but he did, the, the, the story is, is true. Why he did it. Maybe he did it to, as a big F you to the movie. Anyways, people saw it. It's a little dark story. Uh, honestly, there was so much going on during this film. Um, like this movie was re re Wizard of Oz was released. When it was released, we were going to war. W W two. Like this, Wizard of Oz could have been the last movie people, like a lot of men, saw before they went on to the beaches of Normandy and all the other wars. You know. Like, imagine, like, the last movie you thought of was, you know, it's like somewhere over the rainbow. And just, like, and the, it, like, the Wizard of Oz, and you're, like, you're you're in the trenches. And you're, like, back at home, I saw that movie. And that's, like, the only memory you have. Because the movies back then weren't mass-produced. Like, it would be, like, Gone with the Wind, and that's the movie you saw for the year. Wizard of Oz, and that's the movie you saw for the year. Frankenstein, and that was the movies. Now, we see like a million movies a year. But uh, the soldiers, the OEO soldiers, they're doing the Nazi walk. Do, 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 that's not, that wasn't like, let's, let's do it like that. They're like, no, these guys are the Nazis. That's crazy. That's just, in the, the, just the feel of the movie is sort of like this ambiance of like somber trenches movie uh it's it's a dark movie it's a very bright movie but it's a, it's a very dark movie at the same time like it, the bigger the more you dig with wizard eyes the deeper you get the darker it gets um uh, judy garland uh gets slapped in the face by the director because she wouldn't stop laughing uh they put her on pet pills to lose weight because she was like she was like growing she was in uh she did dorothy was uh dorothy was supposed to be very young by the end of the movie she was 16 so they had to keep her skinny and and small 
Um, there was a movie called Over the Rainbow with Sh Chevy Chase. And it, it featured a lot of small people. But at the time, it was very um, ableist and uh, made fun of the... I mean, I think the, the little people thing, that's new. Like, like people specifically seeing, no, you got to call them little people. Like that, you know, like they, they have people throwing around little people for a long time. And uh, the uh, the actors insisted that there was no shenanigans in that hotel, which I, I have a hard time believing. But anyways, they, they don't want the magic to be tarnished. You know, they worked real hard on that movie to have it tarnished with sex stories and all that stuff. But I, I definitely, you got to watch the Kurtz films. Uh, the Crow one was emotional when, uh, and maybe you, I had to go back and watch the, um, the Dragon, um, the Bruce Lee story. When that first came out, I thought it was kind of, I thought it was kind of gimmicky, honestly. Like, kind of, almost gimmicky to the point it was propagandish. Where they were, like, like boasting the curse that the, he, the, the, the Lee family was haunted by this samurai ghost. And the uh, poltergeist, the little girl, did die. Um, they, they gave her the wrong medicine for her um, stomach. And... Uh, Instead of helping her, um, it, it blocked everything, and, and she just stepped in shock, and she died. And, they, and uh, that was sad. The, the Twilight Zone, where Robert, uh, uh, not Landis, what's his first name? Um, Landis, he, he messed up with the helicopter, and the, 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 it came down and hit the actors. That was terrible. The old man was good. The poltergeist one was good, um, and, and everything about Animeville like was fabricated, which was sad. All right, number one. Uh, there's tons of other good uh, documentaries on there. It's Behind the Monster is good. Uh, the uh, Into the Darkness. Check it. I, I there's more episodes coming. So yeah, honestly, like. I'm not a big documentary person. I'd rather watch straight up horror movies. And peace out.